Hello, everyone. Hello from Hi, Moana, everyone. Galicia, Spain. Hello. Hello, Jim. Jimena, Anne, Dolly, Adrian, good to see you all again. Hi, good to see you. We've got Mass on right now as well in the church. And we're going to stay around the area where we know the connections, the signal's good. We heard the, the bagpipe band getting warmed up there, so it was great. We'll be able to hear that right in the, in the square over here. Hi, Penny. Good to see you. So Hi, you Penny. Let, you can let us know where you're coming from. Sean and Tiernan here in Galicia, father and son duo. We'll give a full intro at the start, as usual, for those of you that haven't been with us before in Hago. And now the weather's just about uh, 19 degrees Celsius, a little bit of overcast. So perfect weather for a fiesta. Not too hot. Oh, turn around a little bit here so you can see. Those who were with us last night, we did the whole... They had a big, almost medieval... Well, what was it? All trolls and... Yeah, creatures from the underworld. Yeah, it was all a medieval, mystical event. With some fire. Yeah. Mystical and scary event. <laughs> with all the goblins and trolls. And they were playing the drums and everything. Yeah, to the beat of everything. It was amazing. Yeah. I'm glad we were able to do that. With fire, fire techniques, everything. So we've got just under three minutes. Just a visual check. How's the video looking and the sound? Thumbs up if it's okay. We're looking at the beautiful church of San Martino that we saw last night at night. Now you got shots in the daytime postcards there and we'll see even if we can take a peek inside after if the signal will let us but right now they've got mass on so got mass on inside Sunday mass beautiful Romanesque chapel and on this same site there was a Celtic hill fort, even a Celtic shrine, because they were all here before the Romans came and conquered. So everyone's dressed up as well. Well, some in medieval attire. And we've got our stalls that we're going to see how much we can go down and look at, but the signal as we get behind the stone, it changes quite a bit. There's just a few little stalls that got honey, They've got products of honey for different, uh, even cosmetic soaps. And they've got all leather goods. So it's quieter than last night. Last night was really jumping. Yeah, back with people. There's Angie in the background as well. She'll be sending some links later on. So you can read a little bit about Moanya, where we are. And about the festival here of Moanya Antigua that we're going to show you. And the way that it's spelt is here, Moanya, M-O-A, and with an accent A, and son de mar means the sound of the sea, or from the sea. Could mean both things, couldn't it? Yeah. So we still got under a minute here. They were practicing up there before. Yeah, there's Angie sending the link of the Facebook page. It's all in Spanish and Galatian, but you can look at the photos and some little videos of the event that they've had here. So this is the... What edition is this, Tierna? So this is the seventh edition that is celebrated. Yeah. And it's celebrated every June, the 24th, 25th, and 26th. So it's yeah. three days of... Festival. Three days of festival, fun, gaitas, so the bagpipes, all medieval, artisan goods as well. Food, can't miss the food. Oh, and fireworks. Fireworks as well. <laughs> There's a link for the Concello de Moana. Concello means town hall. So that's the town hall of this whole where we are in a parish of it called San Martino. Yeah, so the town council and the Moana Antigua Association, they are responsible of organizing this festival. Yeah, they do really well every year and they brought in the acting last night, all the drama to do all the all the spectacular fire displays and on stilts and everything. 
Hope some of you joined us last night. Oh, there's Mike, my brother, his uncle. Hi, Uncle Mike. Our Hago guide in Edinburgh and that does other parts of Scotland, Whiskey Walk and Talk. You can check out his page there, Mike O'Rourke. We're a family of guides. <laughs> we'll get a full intro and just, well, now we've just started. Give a couple seconds for anyone else that's going to connect on. I can hear the pipes getting started again, the gaitas. They'll be starting at 12.45. Yeah. So full intro now that we're rolling. My name's Sean. And my name's Tiernan. I'm originally from Vancouver, Canada, so Canadian, you can tell by the accent, but lived here in Galicia for 20 plus years, doing food, wine, walking tours of beautiful Galicia, northwestern Spain. And Tiernan? I grew up in Galicia. I was born in Vancouver. And I live in a fishing village called Cangas de Morazo, which is near here, Moaña. And I've been doing in-person tours with my dad, virtual tours, getting used to it and practicing a little bit my guiding. hago has been good for that, to get him with the storytelling yeah, and been guiding. it a good experience. Hi, everyone's just logged in. Marilyn from Hi, Estonia, everyone. good to see you. And now I think they're going to be... Mass is still on, so we won't be filming inside there, but I'm going to see if I can take a peek before we go at the end. They've got a guided tour as well in Spanish of the whole area here for the people that visit Moaña. So Moaña Antigua, that means the old ancient part of Moaña because this was where the whole village, the whole little town began up in these hills here in the parish called San Martino. Then eventually they moved down to the waters in the 1900s to start doing all the production of even mussels, seafood, fishing, because that's where the main part of this little village is. In Moaña, there's 19,500 inhabitants, and when they all to do with fishing in the bay and then in big waters as well. And like again, the production of the mussels, sustainable mussel farming. So now we're back to the origin of this little town, San Martino, and it all starts right here where we are. This little church, the name is San Martino. And it's all Romanesque, isn't it, Tiernan? Yeah, it's a 12th century Romanist church that suffered numerous attacks from Barbary pirates from the north of Africa. Yeah, beautiful tympanum, no, Tiernan? You can tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, it's a Romanist tympanum, and you can see the patron saint, uh, San Martino, surrounded by other saints, and a Latin inscription carved into the stone. So the other saints, in the, on the right side, we have... Uh, Saint Emiliano, with an open book, holding an open book right on his here, left. No? Mm -hmm. Saint uh, Bricio, holding a censer with his right hand, and a cross on his chest with his left. And the other two remaining figures, they're believed to be the architect and sculptor of the work of the tympanum. So it's all made of granite, which is the main building material here in Galicia. Yeah, so it's considered to be one of the best examples of Romanist, Galatian Romanist architecture. And you can even see the Celtic knots coming through there because even the pre-Christian, you can see all different types of symbols because they were the ones that built it, of course, the Romans when they took over. I'm going to come around here. I don't want to disturb them with mass, but look at this. Oh, the signal's dropped a little bit. I'll move away back again where I know it gets higher again. Very hard with granite stone. Let us know if you can hear us, okay? And it also has Baroque-style elements from the reconstructions that were carried on during the 18th century. So some of these elements are the main chapel, the lateral chapel, and the sacristy. Yeah, we'll see if we can take a peek inside after when Mass is over. Of course, we're not going to be doing live streaming during Mass. We'll show the other side of it here. And get another, another shot. So we've got privileged views. I'm going to see if I can get an Adam shot, so hold on to your seats here. Let's see, the connection went down a tiny bit there. Let's go a little bit closer. And I'm going to turn my camera now. And you can get a different perspective. Take your postcards. Turn it back around now. There we go. So we have to be very careful with our signal up here. We've looked at the areas where it's possible. And so now we're going to take you around where we're going to hear the pipes 
And we're going to see them playing. These are all the little stalls here. See the banda de gaitas de moaña. So the bagpipe banda moaña. You see they're all getting set up there. If anything drops in image or audio, just let us know, because sometimes I'm not watching the meter. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see even where it says Conceio de Moana in their nice sort of arms there. We've got all the pipes there where they're different from the Scottish pipes, more similar to the Breton pipes, where it's just one drone instead of three like the Scottish. So it's got a higher pitched sound, very nice. So here they're not really military, all under the gaitas. It's more for events like this, fairs, and different celebrations. I'm going to move back. We're going to get up on our rock here because I can see the signal it does go up and down. If you and have they to even refresh. say there's a castro next to the church from the Iron Age. It's yeah. currently being investigated and maybe excavated. Hold that for a second. Okay, we're doing our mountain climbing to get up to our... Uh, they are similar to the Estonian bagpipes. Yeah, see, there's Estonia, there's bagpipes, Bulgaria all throughout there. Wow, yeah, I have a photo of that I'll have to look up as well. Estonia pipes I haven't even seen, so I'll focus in. I'll zoom in a little bit here now. You can see one wasn't holding them there. So they've got lady pipers and men. There's one who's holding it there. So they've just been tuning up beforehand in a building behind here, which is the Escuela de Musica, in a 16th century rectory. There we did a little bit of filming after. I'm going to paste a, uh, post a, a video in the Hegel Voyagers Facebook because no connection out there. But here we've got a nice one. Look at the beautiful backside of the church here with all the crosses. And up in these hills here, excellent trails for walking right behind here. This whole peninsula, if you've been on tours around the Morato Peninsula where we are, O Morato, which comes from a Celtic word meaning mor, M-O-R, or M-O-R-R, -R, and what it means is a rocky outcrop. Because this whole peninsula, before 1927, it was just all rock and just some oak groves, but all the pine and the eucalyptus that are planted up here, that was all planted afterwards for a building, for the railroad, So it's something that was added later. Nice olive tree there as well. Usually the olive trees beside all the Catholic churches. Just take a little panoramic round while we're waiting. If anyone has any questions, go right ahead. So they're having another festival coming up. No, Tiernan, what's the name of it? Moana, well, the festival, inter-Celtic inter festival of San Martin, of Moana. Yeah, that's going to be a big one of yeah, Morato. Celtic music. All throughout, they're going to invite uh, bands all the way from Canada as well. I'm going to post in there the dates soon. So we can do that live too. Um, the temperature at the moment is 19 degrees Celsius. So you can check that out in Fahrenheit if you're Fahrenheit where you are. Yeah, the temperature went down. We had a heat wave here in Spain, and it went down all over Spain. Thank God it wasn't up here where they were up to 42 down in the south. Here, we didn't get up to that, of course. But there you can see the bay, the water. That's all Atlantic right there. And New York's right the same latitude. So whoever's with us from New York, look out your window. <laughs> Now we're just about getting started here. What time we got now? Yeah, five minutes. This should be rolling. 19C66. Thanks, Mike. 66 Fahrenheit. So it's good to not be sweating while we're doing our filming, even though I got burnt yesterday a bit. See, we've got some jewelry on the other side in the, in the stands here. 
artisan jewelry. We've got basket making, festas. And we even got a man here that brought his falcons for falconry over there. Let's see if we can take a little walk down a bit. See if the connection will hold up with any of it. Funny how to be perched up on a wall to be able to get our signal. What we do are us Hago guides to bring virtually to your screen. Here we go. I think from here we can get them. Zoom in a bit. Look at them. Yeah, big falcons. Crow, birds of prey. They had them throwing up meat in the air yesterday and, and doing all different tricks. Really neat. There's about how many of them is there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, one. seven, eight. Yeah, there's eight of them there. And there's a big owl inside. He was telling us yesterday of how they even hunted. They trained them to hunt in groups. So they would fly and together hunt. So now it seems like they're getting ready. Let's get over there for the... The tuning. People are starting coming in and out. It's funny to hear Tina and I talking in English through our phone. They get a laugh because here they wouldn't even speak in Spanish. They're all speaking Gallego, Galatian, the language here. And you know, there's four official languages in Spain, and Galatian's one of them, one of the oldest. Can everyone hear okay? The music, I mean. Good, good. Because I can always get Tiernan to go closer with his mic. I want you to hear this. Almost a lot of say. Let's go. Good. A couple more minutes. So on all the festas in Galicia, you'll see the bagpipers with the tambourines, the big bombo drum, as they call it, the big bass drum, and as well, the snare drums. And you even saw last night, we got a treat, to the hurdy-gurdy, the samfona. That was nice hearing that medieval instrument. And in all the, the towns and cities before, there used to be what's called the troubadours, especially in the city of Vigo. And it would just be one piper usually with tambourine and, and the hurdy-gurdy, and they would go around in street busking throughout the city. So you could hear pipes quite a bit in the city here, in the largest city of, of Galicia, Vigo. This is really an extension of the city, the whole Vigo. Vigo Bay Area, Moana and Cangas, where we actually live right beside. Many people live and work here, well, live here and work over in the city. Just about there. And the largest pipe band in Galicia is in Orense, inland Galicia. The Real Banda, the Gaitas, the Orense. They go all over playing their pipes to the different events. And there's a lot of connection between the Galatians and the Argentinians. They even say the capital of Galicia is Buenos Aires because there's more descendants there than all of Galicia. Lots went over from the, sh the big ships that went from Vigo to go over there to look for a better life. So they have their cultural center with their pipe bands. Here they're gone. I will take the zoom on and off so you can get clear photos. And 
not a big show up today compared to last night. There was lots of people. Look at that. Great traditional Galatian music. Saying good morning, everyone. They're the Gaiteros y Gaiteras, so bagpiping men and women of Moana. Yes, there is so much life in music, isn't there, Ellen? Very a way to express the culture and languages. Even when you don't speak the same language, you can speak the language of music. That's what happens in these Celtic festivals. People come from all over the Celtic world, from Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Isle of Man, Brittany and Galicia, they all get together, speak different languages, and they can understand each other when they get the, the wine, the ale, and the music going. <laughs>
another instrument you see sometimes is even rubbing two scallop shells together. The ridges, that's another instrument they use here in Galicia. Oh, there's someone dancing there too. <laughs> Marines are usually the women. Oh boy, there as well. And the pipers are men and women. Thankfully, we have Zoom and Hago now, then I can film up here farther away. There's no connection closer. Uh, do you know the lineup? Could you find on the internet? Well, the, the name of the group is the Banda de Gaitas. So it's one group there and they're playing all traditional Galatian songs. Yeah, it's called Asociación Gaiteros de Moaña. So it's an association where they teach the pipes as well and everything and keep the tradition alive. Even for the young ones. No problem or not. Yeah, there's all the traditional songs that they had that all the bagpipe groups play. Thank you, Angie. That's the association there. Yeah, they say it's not a fiesta without a pipe band and a pulpeira, an octopus lady. They love their octopus. Um, that was a muñeira, it's a type of song where they used to have dancers as well, dancing the muñeira. Yeah, one of the parishes Moaña, called Tomayo. So it's dedicated to this parish, this song that we're going to play. Yeah, Ellen, there was dancers in the other event that we did there. So this is not a dance club, it's a piping and music club, so they don't have dancers here. And people dancing? No, they're watching now. Too early for dancing. They must have danced everything last night. <laughs> now they're starting right there. There's some families dancing. <laughs> They'll get into it. Traditional dancing. They had another event here, Moana, that we covered. Tapping your toes out, good, over all the way to Australia. Hear the rhythm and the sound of the pipes is so much different than the Scottish or Irish Poolin pipes. I've never heard the Northumbrian pipes before, but they're gonna there's gonna be a group from Northumbria in the next festival in July that we're gonna cover. Same rhythm as in Estonia as well, you're folk dancing there, Merlin, wow. Yeah, it's hard to tell the origin of the pipes because they're all over. They 
they say you're from the Baltics. So it's not even just Celtic. It's an instrument used throughout. song we'll try and venture down a little bit and see if in the middle down there we can get a little bit uh, closer view but we're in a beautiful setting in the hills here of San Martino with all the green around us three days of fun they did have as well a tambourine group of ladies. They had events all day and for kids they had lots of uh, artisan workshops. Yay! Clap everyone. Now we're going to try and Venture down a bit and get a little bit risky and see if the. We can always run back here again. Darren's gonna hold that so I can get down off the wall. Let's see if this can hold up right in the middle here so we can get a bit closer. Look at all the dates and everything. We got dates, fruits. Lots of bees around there. Let's see if I get in the middle, if it get better. farther and closer, the signal will cut them in. Kathleen, we're in Moanya listening to the Gaitas. The Gaitas, the band of the Gaitas of Moanya. They're all traditional songs. Dance songs are called puñeras or jotas. They have different rhythms for different types of dances. That was the song Paso Doble de Melide. Melide is a, a village here in Galicia. 
Y ahora vamos a presentar una pieza que en ese momento ya aconselló el mítico gaitero Ricardo Porcela. We're saying this is a song that Ricardo Portela, an important piper, to the years that he composed this one. And they're dedicating it to a person here, Moana, that's been very important for the, the music of this town. Try to come back a little bit here. He does drop, refresh your screen, and come back in because the signal jumps up and down. And Hold up the gimbal, the better the signal is. So hopefully you can see everyone. get the perspective and then you can as well take postcards without zoom so it doesn't come as blurry. Enjoy some of the live music. We're going to try and take a little bit of a walk around now. You'll still be hearing in the background the band. Hopefully you can be able to see the image good there. Now we're going to try and walk around here so you can see. Let's attempt the stall over there. We've got wicker basket, testeros. 
Wicker basket making is something that they've done for traditionally years. There's a whole street in the city of Vigo called the Calle Rua de Testeros. It's the street of the wicker basket makers. Lined up, they would have all in the houses at the bottom there with all the baskets they make. Handmade made shoes as well. Yeah. The other See, for years, it's, it's a dying trade. Everything handmade. They're beautiful. They're used for bread, sardine, for all different types of things. Just try and go in and out. We're going to try and show you as much as we can around here. There we've got some of the falcons. And an owl on the other side. There's an owl over there too, there? Yeah, on the other side. Oh, there's a big guy there. Yeah, he's, he's staring at us. So they do all the different drills that they have for hunting. Amazing how they glide in the in the air too. I'm gonna try and attempt to go around to the side. The nice feathers there too. Everyone see? Get your postcards there. So here's the whole area where they have their festivals for dancing. Not just this festival they have here. A barn oil in the back, owl in the back row, yeah. That's right. There's about eight of them there I counted before. So we've got some pottery here. Take a little walk through the stall, some sweets too. Oh, the bees and flies are loving this. Hola, buenas. And candies for the kids. And the adults. I got a sweet tooth. Now they're saying, oh, the nice cherries. It's also a beautiful atmosphere with the music. Nice traditional stalls around. These things are best to experience in person. But we wanted to bring the essence of the Galatian festas to Hago. We did three different episodes. I'm going to go over this side now. And we'll see. see if it's open uh, and we can take a peek inside. Oh, they've closed it now. Closed now. So it was only for mass. Mass is over yet and they closed it up there. But you can see the beautiful facade again. I'm going to show you the other side and I'm going to try and take a peek down. Still got a few more minutes and if this well, let us go down here, because over top, the connection is very good. Yeah, mass was just over. Now it's time for having their wine. With choripan. <laughs> yes. Chorizo stuff in a bun. <laughs> I'm going to try and go around here. I know the connection will drop a little bit, so I'll alert you beforehand. Yeah, we've got a nice side door entrance with even a big, the big chorizo bocadillos. 
So this is the food court. Later on, it'll be hopping. Hopefully, you can see a little bit there. And try and focus in again so you can get a shot before the connection goes all the way down. Look at that mouth watering. Minutes here. We'll take it back to the music. Hopefully, you didn't lose anyone. Thank you very much, Marilyn, for your tip. Much appreciated. We're going to bring more of these fiestas in different areas and try and show you different parts of the culture of Galicia. Gastronomic festivals, too. They have the Festival of the Muscle here in Muayna as well. That's another one not to be missed. The Mission. Let's go back up for a bit more music here. up here so you can hear our last song here thumbs up anyone if you can see that and hear great thank you everyone tap their feet Amazing how through Hago we can show different music on the other corner of the world. Don't know where all you are from. It's amazing you'll be able to see this on your screen. It's getting warmer and the sun's coming out of the clouds. sky now and again you can see the water way over there the Atlantic there 
There we go. Everyone clap. Well, we're going to turn this around and say goodbye. We've gone over our time. Hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, hope you had a great time with us. You see, we're up on our favorite wall, jumping up and down <laughs> to bring you the connection. So we hope you enjoyed. Gracias, everyone. And thank you very much for your tips. That really helps out. De Caloguinho, everyone. Yes. And we'll have to see you soon. Come on our next tours. Don't forget to follow our channel up on the button up at the top there. And as well, if you can leave any reviews, that would be great. And this is our little company here for in-person tours. It's called Eat and Walkabout, because that's what we like to do. Eat and Walkabout, especially eat. <laughs> and uh, we can do any type of customized tours for this area here. And there's our Instagram if you want to follow us. We'll be posting some videos and everything else. So thank you very much, Pamela, for joining us. Thank, thank you, you very everyone. Much, Pamela. Muchas gracias. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And we will turn this around again. Muchas gracias couple more seconds for this one to start and then we'll see here so take care everyone and hope we see you again on our other fiestas of Galicia next one we plan will be the 29th of July so get notifications in our channel and follow we're going to do 29th 30th yeah, and Tour's 31st coming up. look at with the sky there now the back of our Romanist church and again you can see the other side there that's all the Bay of Beagle ok everyone take care take care everyone hasta pronto one last panoramic round so you can hear the last music and I'll be silent hasta pronto Have a good day, Jan. Take care. Bye-bye, everyone.